Okay, Behringer model HPB263A, automatic horizontal bandsaw. Uh, he has a, a vertical clamp for nesting of bundles. Presently configured for high voltage, which is uh, 460, yes. 460 volt. Blade control here, hydraulics, we're not on, but that's for blade tension. On off valve for the front vertical vise. Interlocks for the covers, this all works good. Rear valve, on off valve for the uh, feed vertical vise. This is for feed control, length of feed. If you see it down low, we can move this back and forth with a, with a readout counter on there. It just comes all the way in and out, so that, that's that. Get the feed out there. Hydraulic hookups for the vertical vise, conveyor, large conveyor right over here, which mounts up to this. Okay. Clamps. These are the guide rollers here. Hydraulic system is all up underneath the plate here. You might be able to get some of this. Fairly straightforward. Solenoid valves for the clamping and such. Drive motor. We can fire this up in a second. We can play with the variable speed on the drive motor. Coming around through here. And if you, then when you get out here, we can take a shot of the conveyor too. That's okay. long. Chip conveyor here. Here's the dial up whenever you come around for our speed control, blade speed. And if I raise it up, I can open this cover up. You still filming? I'll just yeah, I'm good. Let me let me just bring it up manually. Get this up in the air. Show the other cover open. That's full up. This is a T-bar right here. Comes down until it hits the nest. Once it hits this. That takes it from fast to feed, so we're, we don't have anything in there, so we're going to go into feed only for the last half inch, which is a feed control, hydraulic control valve right here. We can play with it a little bit, you'll see it. Here's the inside of this cover here. It's the main feed drive. In fact, I could probably kick this thing on right now. There's the feed. And if I, if I play with this guy here at 125, you can kind of see it and listen. One thirty, one forty, one seventy, two oh nine, I'm moving faster. And we probably go a lot slower if you want to. That's all pretty good shape. Okay. Yeah, different profiles for the blade tension on here. This is all hydraulic for relief. That's all explained in the book. Normal, inox. It's in the owner's manual. Here's the vertical vices. Right now I've got them shut off, but they go up and down with the clamp vise and the feed vise. We, we can do that right now. If I shut the blade off, just bring that hydraulics back up. You can take this all the way up. And here's the uh, front vise and the rear vise. Here's the front one. All the way up. Oops. That's all pretty good shape. This one closes automatically on, on auto start. And the rear one, let me write that back up. And the rear one. Is the feed vise which goes all the way to the rear once we start auto cycle. If you can see it back there, Pete, that's that guy there. We do that again? I'm not going to do it to you. Yeah. yeah, that's clamp. That's the feed. And, and then the shuttle, I'm doing all this off the manual console here. Here's the shuttle. All the way back, all the way in. We're only feeding for four or five inches until we hit the stop, see? In fact, if I turn the vertical back on, I think I haven't tried this yet. Let me 
You see this going on? I'm going to try, we'll try it with the vertical vise just to see how that works. Uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah, see? Do it open. And then we'll close. That's good for nesting, so I just left it up for the time being because we have no parts in there, we have nothing, so I thought we'd leave it off because we're not really cutting anything here. So that's good. And we showed you shuttle. Is there a shuttle? And we got up and down feed. And again, if we hit the bar right here, that's the T bar, then that's what sends this whole piece into feed. And that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to flip it over to auto cycle. And okay. I mean, I can move this out of here, yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll flip it to auto cycle. Just if you want to see the counter here, we've got a zero count right here. We've got a preset. I think E1 is the preset for four. A preset of four. And that's what it's going to go to for the batch counter. And in about 10 seconds, it'll just revert back and it'll start at zero. So we'll leave that go for a few seconds, let it shut off. I'm feeding out once, there's our zero. We've got one feed out, which is just one off. If I, if I click this up, we can do multiple feed outs, but for the sake of the video, three, two, one, we'll do one, one feed, you'll see it over there. And it'll go up to four parts and then shut off. So we flip it over to auto, and I think I've got everything right. Let's give it a try, see what we get here. It's gonna feed out, feed goes back, clamps up. One feed. We might even cut some wood. I don't know. There we go. And we'll play with the feed as soon as it hits this T-bar right here, see? Now we're feeding. I've got it going pretty slow there, but if you zoom in, I can, I can slow this thing down. I'm cutting real slow now, and the next piece will feed a little bit faster. You just kind of see that blade down. It's going real slow. We'll move up one. I just got it really moving easy there, so I'm going to speed it up just a touch. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're feeding out now, so. Now oh, it went a little bit faster. You can see the blade moving. And we're at a count of two now. That's two on the counter. We'll do two more. Whoop. Yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to do that. I forgot. I have to move the board back for a oh, second. Oh, because you can cut that wood. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to bump into it. It doesn't know that. Yeah, we're doing everything kind of different here. So, yeah. Oh. So we gotta get that open. For a second, we're all open. Get back. The manual. Open this. Open. Open. We can do two more. We're still on two. I put it all the way back here. In fact, I can push it out and I got the switch on, I think. Let's just put it there. Let's give that a try and close it. I don't think it matters now. Here we go. Close it. Let's flip it over to auto. There we go. Should pick it up again. One feed. And we're back to the same routine. Back still on two pieces without cutting the wood. Feed goes back. Yeah, we didn't raise up high enough for the wood to come through. On this last piece, I'll hold the T-bar up. We're on our fourth piece. When it comes up now, I'll hold this out of the way. It'll go higher. Just to show you how this works. Is it the last one? Reset. One more. Let's see if we can get one more. There we go. I'll let it do one, and then we'll come down again. I'll hold it back up out and let it go a lot higher. Just speed up the feed, it goes a little bit quicker. There's a fast feed there. That's moving pretty good. Now see if I hold this up until I drop this bar, it'll just keep going up. So it falls. Then now it's going to feed out again. 
I'm going to simulate the bundle being eight inches high, like right now. That would be a feed. It would just sit there, see? Now, that would be a feed from way up here, cutting a whole nest. I'll just drop it and let it finish off its cycle. But anytime that goes up, it goes into feed. Works pretty good. And that's a fast feed now. I got to sped up pretty quick, see? Two more pieces to go. This is number three. One more after this, it'll shut off. Number four, raise it up, ready to load up a new set of bars. Pop that open, pop this open, pop that open, and load your new bars in. That's ready to go. All right. Ready to go. That's everything I know about Behringer saws. Let me move this. This is just getting in the way.